All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Feel in the Row. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be your general love reading. So let's find out what is going on with you and the person that is on your mind. All right, if you guys want to book something personal, my information is down below in the description box. Um, as well as access to a self-love course, a twin flame course, and guided meditations, as well as I do have the anxiety remove crystal sets. Okay, as you guys know, I'm kind of obsessed with crystals. I absolutely love crystals, so I've created a specific set if you are someone who deals with anxiety. Um, I'm hopefully going to be launching the money magnet set as well, so that's going to be for attracting financial abundance, okay? All the information for all of that stuff is on my website though. And that's in the description box down below. Okay, so let's take a look at the current status of this connection. Current status. Okay, something unfair about this situation. So we have the justice card in reverse. So it looks like there could have been an imbalance or currently is an imbalance within the situation. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is that someone was treated unfairly. Um, someone was maybe not getting as much as the other person from this situation, okay? There's something that's not balanced about this situation right now. So let's take a look. Their current energy towards you. What's their current energy towards you? So they're indecisive. We have the Two of Swords. Um, it could be that they have a decision to make about you and someone else, or they're just indecisive. So let's see why the Two of Swords is here. The Five of Cups. I feel like this person's really worried about making the wrong decision about the situation so it's like they don't want to regret the decision that they make in regards to you so they're just not making a decision or they're just staying in that energy of like okay I have to make a choice but I'm just waiting and it's like this energy where maybe this person kept you waiting or is keeping you waiting because they're not making that choice so what's your energy towards them what's your energy towards them yeah I feel like you're waiting exactly the hanged man it seems to me like this situation between the two of you is kind of on a pause or stagnated. And I feel like it's the reason why it is is because of their energy. It seems like because of their indecision, all right? Some of you guys, because you've been waiting for this person or because it's been on pause, you're starting to detach yourself a little bit here with the King of Swords in reverse. It's like you might be going into this energy where you're starting to feel detached or you are detaching yourself from the situation, okay? Um, all right. So let's take a look at their intentions. What are their intentions with you? Wow, the Empress reverse. So they're still not moving it. Okay, <clears throat> so this person is not planning on really going anywhere, okay? The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> I don't mean it in terms of like them not moving it forward. I mean like I don't think they're going anywhere. <laughs> I don't think this person's actually going anywhere because we have the Empress in reverse. So this is someone who's very heavily attached to you and is planning on staying attached to you. So even though they might have you in this kind of limbo energy, they're not going anywhere. This person's not going anywhere. They're still attached to you. They're planning on staying attached to you emotionally with the Empress in reverse, okay? What are your intentions? Yeah, you wanna work on things, okay? But I also see you not really moving it. Okay, that's weird. You wanna work on things, Eight of Pentacles, but you're not gonna take the action to do it, if that makes sense. Because I feel like you're in this energy of waiting especially if this person kept you in this like limbo energy so some of you guys are wanting to are trying to sort of detach yourself because not a lot has been happening but your intentions are to work on it but you don't want to take the initiative to be like okay let's work on it so you might be waiting for them to show more initiative okay what's the outcome here what's the outcome for these two I'm still seeing some inaction. There is passion here. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse, but I see some issues with movement. Yeah, because we have this stubborn energy. I see that both of you guys in the near future are holding back. Um, I don't know if it's that you're both stubborn or I just see like a lack of action because someone is choosing to, um, is someone's choosing to hold back. Okay. Let's take a look and see how they're feeling. Let's see. How are they feeling about you? trapped okay something's got them stuck something has this person stuck and that could be what the issue has been in terms of um the movement with the situation let's see why it's stuck here or why it's trapped here the king of wands i feel like this person has all of the power to get themselves out of this yeah
We have the King of Wands, which is telling me that this person has the power to get themselves unstuck. This person has the power to break free. And I think that's what they're doing because we have the Wheel of Fortune with the Ten of Swords. This person might be coming out of something painful. It could be like a painful lifestyle, a painful relationship, or a painful like way of thinking. So whatever this is, they're coming out of it. So whatever they've been trapped in, whatever's been keeping them tra trapped, I see them coming out of it. They're not fully there yet because we have the world in reverse, so there's still a cycle that needs to close. But I see them coming out of this, and I feel like once they do, they're going to be this king of wands for you. They're going to be this person who steps it up a little bit because right now you're dealing with like this knight of wands in reverse, someone who might be a little bit immature, but also someone who is kind of hesitant to take action. So once they get themselves untrapped, I see this person actually like really taking action towards you or really stepping it up with the king of wands energy. Okay, let's take a look and see. What's going on with this connection spirit? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's been stuck. And so, yeah. Um, and that's what we're getting. I think that's why I kept being called to say stuck, even though this says trapped. Um, but there is the word stuck at the end there as well. So, yeah, this situation has been stuck. That's what I'm getting. Like the two of swords, the hangman. It hasn't been going anywhere. And it's telling me that in the near future, it's still kind of stuck. I think it's because this person is going through something right now. And once they get out of that energy, it's like I do see movement forward. But I think that's been the core issue with this connection. For a lot of you guys, you've been getting signs of them or you've been receiving signs. They've also been receiving signs. But it seems like you guys haven't been honest with each other about how you're truly feeling okay you're putting on this front right you're being stubborn you're holding back um there's a bit of a guardedness here let's actually clarify this stuck energy let's clarify this yeah could also be some codependency issues that's keeping you guys stuck um yeah look at that even the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck definitely but for some of you guys, what's also keeping the situation stuck is codependency issues. Um, and it could also be that someone is afraid to let go of their... So I'm getting two things. One could be codependency issues. Like that needs to be something... That's something that needs to be healed before the connection can move forward energetically. But I'm also getting that someone is afraid to maybe let go of their other options. So this could be your person. Like it could be someone who really cares about you is really attached to you but doesn't necessarily want to let go of all these other options that they have okay so that's another thing so let's take a look at their message so what's their message for you okay what's your person's message for you i've got a tarot reading on you yeah so definitely this pile um, I feel like your person could be spiritual because they're aware that they're getting signs of you. So this person also gets readings on you. Will you ever forgive me? Yeah, literally. Look again. I see signs of you everywhere I go. That's what I'm honestly getting. Like this person is getting a lot of signs. So I feel like this is someone who is very spiritually inclined. This is someone who is aware of the spiritual nature of things. This is someone who does believe in tarot, okay? Um, and then we have please be patient a little longer, okay? So this person is feeling like they need a little bit more time. Let's see what this is about. Yeah, strength right now. I feel like they're building their confidence at this point. Why is this here? Will you ever forgive me? The two of cups. So this person might have ended it with you in the past or just never fully committed to the situation so it ended or it fell apart between the two of you and they're hoping that you will forgive them for this. I feel like this person just needs more time to find their confidence or to build their confidence. Um, also to kind of put their pride and ego to the side, okay? But anyways, guys, so that's what I have for you. So I do hope that this reading was helpful. As always, if you want to book your own personal reading, my information is down below in the description box. All right, so I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.